let's ascend. Hopefully we don't have any reef backs hanging out directly above me. Yeah, let's let's just head straight south. Um pretty much towards that question mark, question mark, question mark wreck, and then we just keep going. I mean the one thing I could do is actually try and keep kind of deep with this just to explore and look around. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna save. And let's do dumb things. Maybe dumb? Maybe not dumb. I don't know. Whatever. Unfortunately, there's no depth meter when I'm in the camera, which sucks. Because I would actually really love to be able to see what's going on. But yeah, this is the end of the Lost River around here. Not that we can do much with the area. Ooh, that is creepy looking. Gotta make sure we don't just bonk into things. I just killed a bunch of fish. Okay, so there's the crab. It is infected. Oh, that's an infected other fish. Yeah, it's interesting how many infected fish we've got just swimming around out here. Should probably pay a little bit more attention to what I'm doing, though. Instead of just looking at things. Okay. I also really wish this game had, um... Constant music. I... Like, I really love the music of this game. I was actually listening to the soundtrack on my own. Let's see, do I need the blueprint for the rebreather? Nope. I just need to make it. Uh, I think we have to ascend at this point. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I was listening to the, um... I was listening to the soundtrack, uh, just the other day while I was doing whatever. I'm actually very slowly making a thumbnail for Subnautica. Um... Like, a really nice one, comparatively. I haven't done a whole lot of custom thumbs in a long time. Um, but yeah, I was making a custom thumb for it and just listening to the soundtrack, and it's like, it's actually really good music. But, I mean, pretty much for the life of me, we never hear it, because it's so rare. I don't know if it's biome-specific or whatever, but I'd, like, I'd love to listen to that music constantly. Also, it would make things feel a little bit less isolated. I'm just gonna see if there's any goodies hanging out along the side here. There's a lot of like scrap metal and stuff that we can deal with. I know there's some like really deep sea critters that could be really cool. But I don't know. I don't know how deep this goes, and I'd really rather not bungle my um I'd really rather not bungle my my Cyclops just because what happened what happened where what to be oh we just got a little bit close but there's lights in front of me Oh, it was probably just this that I could see. Okay, that's scary. Some proximity alarms. I think we're hearing reapers. So we're in the dunes now. I am scary. I, I am scary. I am scared. <laughs> as far as I remember, I'm... Jesus Christ, whatever that is, is loud. Like, as far as I can tell, I'm 90% untouchable in here. But, good God, does it feel like I'm so incredibly easy to kill at all times. Okay. So that's the wreckage I was at. I guess let's just ascend, because there's nothing around here. 
that's going to do us any good. Okay. Yeah, let's just go this this way. I'll just keep going forward until we bump into something again. Yeah, and I'll just I'll just head for the the Grand Reef. Maybe. Yeah, once we have the pressure, I think I'll get a little bit braver. You having some problems there? <laughs> oh man, that was that was uncomfortable. Okay, so that was a reaper. Was that the same classification of reaper? Or is that a new reaper that I've never seen before? Honk the horn. I don't know how. I really don't know how. Do we stay deep here? Screw it. We stay deep here. Who knows? Maybe there's goodies at the bottom of the dunes. Looks like there's just a bunch of these nibbler dudes. Not much else. The occasional reaper. That... <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting braver, owing to the fact that the Reapers are apparently stupid. Get out of camera and left click. Oh, okay. We'll do next time. There's nothing quite like a Reaper just bumping stupidly into your Cyclops to make you a little bit less scared of them. Just a little bit. But yeah, okay, so if I get out of camera mode and we left click, we can... Blow the horn. Oh, I am sleepy. Okay. I wonder if there's a way if I could actually, like, get him stuck against the seabed or something. So it's I could scan him. Because I, I actually do want to scan a, uh, a Reaper Leviathan at some point. Just to say that I have. And to get the log entry and stuff. I think there's stuff like stasis rifles and whatnot that you can use, but... Uh. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need to get some wreckage at some point. Uh, for titanium. But I'm a little bit, uh... Uninterested. Whoa. What the f... What are those things? Where are... What is this? What biome is this? This ain't the Gri Grand Reef, is it? No, this is the Sea Trader's Path. Oh god. That was a warper. I was staring at a warper and that was scary. Okay. Though okay, so these guys up ahead are sea traders. That thing was a warper. And that's a that's a uh. Okay, so we got warpers. We got sea traders. I'm gonna save, seeing as we're here. Actually, you know, you know what? No. We're gonna pop out for a second. I'm gonna go eat some food. Cause yeah, we're... we're thirsty. And melons always... always do the trick. Look at how I'm just running around knifing it at my feet. Is there a way to crouch to get this? Is there a way to harvest melons better? Because this is annoying. Okay.
There we go. That should be fine. Yeah, if I can knife some of these other melons, there's... This would be okay, but I can't. There's no way to knife them properly. Nah. Okay, there we go. Got it. <laughs> there's death right outside. Time to eat. Look. Sometimes when you're having when you're looking it at certain death you get you get the munchies I'm gonna turn off the internal lighting for a second We're gonna save and Do I have the external lights on I don't think I do There we go Not that it seems to really make much of a difference Yeah, so there's just a re uh, reaper leviathan just hanging out next to me well, I guess I don't want to do too much. Alright, we should probably save before we continue on, and then we keep going. Yeah, so I'm going to have to worry about the warper a little bit. Okay. So these are the sea traders up ahead. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. So they're like big walking crab things. Which is the front? I think the f the single leg is the front. Those are weird critters. Okay. Okay, so apparently the uh, the reapers bumping into the cyclops is totally intentional from the developers. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I'm just gonna keep myself angled south, probably. I don't know what's over there. Honestly, probably the edge of the game. I don't exactly know where I am. What the hell's going on up? Up and around here. Oh, it's like a big arch thing. Caution. Passing safe depth. Okay. Let's do the crazy thing. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Let's go through here. Yeah, I need to shut up my sea moth or something. Oh, they kick up minerals. Good to know. I'll go take a look at him in a moment. This is cool. I don't know if I should have gone in here. Because I actually have no idea if there's an easy way out of this tunnel. Okay. Well, keep an eye out on the sea traders. Watch them go around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they do cook, uh, kick up a lot of minerals. They're kind of cute, actually. And a weird... Reminds me of... Yeah, they do really kick up a lot of minerals. Let's see. Which I'd like to grab, but... They're not moving very fast. Mostly just kind of hanging up and being angry at me. Oh. Well. Oh, and it disappears after a while. Either that or it's the draw distance. I have no idea. These kill you. Yeah, I could have guessed. Well, we'll mess around with that when we have the prawn, I guess. Because right now, trying to go through there and grab their detrit detritus doesn't seem like a particularly wise move. Also, it looks like that was just a short little tunnel. And we're back out in open waters again. Oh, see, treaders. Is it the Sea Treader's Path? Oh yeah! No, no, Sea, sea Treader's Path. But yeah, it kind of looks like that front limb is their mouth. Also, serious draw dis 
distance issues with this game. Okay, so we've actually gone directly west, so I want to turn back around and start heading south. Warning. That's north. Where the hell am I? Because I feel like I'm on the absolute edge of the game. Which worries me, like, I assume this is the ed edge, the biome change there. Okay, so apparently it's not unwise. You just get out of there when they start getting feisty. Good to know. Alright, sure. Let's risk it, seeing as we're here. I've already got this thing. As far as I remember, it's fully powered. They don't seem particularly not okay with me. Unfortunately, it looks like 90% of what they're what they're kicking up is useless. I guess I'll scan its butt as it goes away. I wonder if they can attack up. Okay, there we go. Let's grab these. Yeah, just don't get underfoot. Well, should be okay. And unfortunately, it seems like uh, basalt is almost entirely just copper and lithium. Which, near as far as I remember, complete use completely useless to us. There might be some more goodies, but we're also almost completely out of ox oxygen. So I'm just going to go back. Put this away. I have... No frame of reference for how useful 90% of this stuff is. That's okay. I'm just going to dump it all. At some point, I'll mess around with the uh, with all of it, but still. Okay. Let's keep going. This is kind of an interesting little jaunt, but I don't think it's going to get me what I'm looking for. We're still looking for those crystals. And it looks like it's in the Grand Reef. Don't I need copper for the wiring kit? Yeah, but I got a billion copper to begin with. So it kind of comes off as a little bit on the useful, uh, useless side. So this is the Grand Reef. That is a repeated texture. Wow. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. dark as shit down here. It's part of the reason why I never wanted to come to this direction. Because it's always been, uh... Yeah, we do have a camera. Uh, I never really wanted to come down here because it was always, like, stupid dark. But, at the same time, whatever. We're here now. Might as well mess with it. I guess we'll get warning messages whenever we're getting close to sinking this sucker. Unfortunately, the draw distance and the darkness are kind of working against me here. Because I can't really see what we're... where we're going. Should maybe uh, pop out at some point and grab some of these bladder fish. Alright, so what we're looking for are kind of a pinkish crystal. This is the Grand Reef, right? Either it's the Grand Reef where we accidentally stumbled into the Spare Reef, or... Yeah, okay, so we're either in the Grand or the Spare Reef, and I don't know which is which. So really do not see these crystals anywhere around here. Yeah, let me know if I pass any. Actually, it might be that weird white crystal, now that I'm looking at it, because that is an entirely new looking resource. It's on the ground, look. Oh, shit. Is it this? Oh, that's aluminum oxide. 
Yeah. I got spooked by my own goddamn sub. Priceless. Okay. Um. Let's see, do I have any others hanging out around here? We got like salt. It's basalt again. It's more salt. We are crazy deep. I'll grab some of these things, though. There's one that's a membrane tree. I don't remember if membrane trees do anything for us. Anyway, so I want to grab, like, half a billion of these before we leave. Seeing as... I'm just going to grab some fish as we go by. Munchies and whatnot. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Nope. We want to get here. I'm going to just make some fish. Uh, I'm not going to make too many, but it gets me some extra food along the way. Uh, let's see. And I guess I'll just make the rest into water. Let's see. What is he trying to build? Mainly, I'm just trying to get the extra resources so we can, uh, we can continue on and do whatever we want. Um... Let's see, eat that, drink that. So I got something new I can do here. What is? Okay, I can make polyaniline, which is golden hydrochloric acid, which is three deep shrooms and a salt deposit. Question, can I grow deep shrooms wherever I want? Because I know we need uh, polyaniline for a reason. Okay. Well. Hmm. Okay, so we have the aluminum oxide crystals. We do not have nearly enough for that. Okay. What about you here? Plasteel ingot. Okay. So I can make the, uh, I can make a pressure com compensator. Whoops. Just transferred, I think, a battery. Whatever I'll live, I've got, I've still got three hanging out. To make the next one, okay. So I can make the first one. And then, if I had the plastic lingots, we could make the Ultra Cyclops Reinforcement Module. And we'd be good to go. Okay. Now... I'd need a computer chip and two plastic link kits, so that and another one. So I act actually could uh, get what, what I need here. I just got to keep going for a little while longer. Yeah, so I'm just going to grab as many stacks as I can find. Let's probably move to a new location. Oh, we're over here. Let's move to a new location over to the left a little bit um, and just keep looking for this stuff. Yeah, it stands out. I thought it was going to be pinker, but, uh, no. It's actually a fair bit more. Whoops. Killed a bladderfish. Sorry. Yeah, it's just white. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just grab, like, a, a billion of these. And probably... We're just going to grab a billion of these and then probably head back to my base so I can fabricate, like, a stupid amount of plasteel. And I've already lost it. How did I already lose it? Where is this thing? There it is. So we've got quartz. But yeah, I'll, I'll head back to my base and we'll just grab some more stuff. Uh, fabricate all the stuff we need. Maybe grab a prawn instead. I'm not entirely sure. Now, do we actually have to worry about many dangerous things here? In the Grand Reef, or is it pretty benign? Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen uh -oh. remaining. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. We desperately need that rebreather. Uh, 
Okay. Well, we're stuck on a something. Probably one of those orbs. This camera does not do a very good job of showing me where I am and where I'm not. I'm not. Okay. You can scan before you get back into the water. How do you scan? Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the problem is the pop-in is so bad that I pretty much can't see anything. See, what do I need for the rebreather? Uh, more than I got, it, I, I need a lot of basic resources, which is, part, which is part of the problem. And I've already lost it. There it is. Oh, I put away one of my oxygen tanks. That's why this is such a problem. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep going along. I mean, each one of these things is incredibly valuable, so there's no reason why I shouldn't just get as many as I can possibly... There's another one. Damn it. Yeah, I want to get as many as I can possibly grab. And it's a little hard. Because the pop... The draw distance, like... I wish I could almost set a draw distance for resources. Scanner next to the left. This? It's the ultimate head oh to my head. Fuck. The big game God damn it. Well, anyway, uh now that now that uh the Subnautica wiki has betrayed me. Let's figure out where the hell I am. Where where is it? It was like over here ish, somewhere. Ish. Damn it, I've already lost it. I got distracted trying to ah, oh, there it is. Okay. That's nothing. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much. We're gonna have to go get some silver. A bit rough. I should probably go back and grab my... Oh, there's one more. I should go back and grab my, um... My extra oxygen tank. Okay, there we go. Whew! Yeah, I I have this bad problem. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I have this bad problem. Um, I, I like to use the Steam uh, web browser uh, when I'm playing games so I can do Shift-Tab and, you know, look at the map. Uh, so I don't have to Alt-Tab and look around and stuff like that. That never works well. It's really awkward, and I don't like doing it. Unfortunately, oh, I'm directly above one. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I still have no idea where the scanner is that people are telling me about. At least I thought it was directly above one. Come what? Maybe ah, here it is. Okay, there we go. But yeah, so I like to use the um I I like to use the wiki on the Steam browser, but the Steam browser has no um no individual browser, uh, like, volume controls for stuff. And it sucks. Because that means every once in a while, when I'm recording or not recording, it'll just suddenly be ads, and suddenly... Suddenly I am deaf. And suddenly everything sucks. I'm not finding a whole lot of useful bits. Ah, here's another one. Then we should probably go back. Okay, so I've got a billion of these now. I could probably do some things. Okay, there's no scanner. Now, somebody might have been thinking the fabricator there is my scanner. But no, that's... That's just... Handy and available. Okay, so what else do we need? Probably not a whole heck of a lot. Do we... Okay, let's... Let's pop out of this for a second. Let's save. And let's... Spook. Wow, this pop-in is a problem. 
There's nothing down on this lower section. Weird. I was expecting there'd be at least a little bit of something something, but no dice. Okay, we're headed directly west again, which is probably okay. Let's see. Yeah, I should look it up at some point to see if I can completely mute the Steam browser. This is the edge of the world. That's why there's dick all out there. That's scary. I almost drove off the edge of the map. I was wondering why there was nothing along the way here. There's our answer. Okay. Speaking of there's our answer, looks like we got some more goodies hanging out out here. Or the game has frozen on me. Looks like Subnautica just took a nosedive. Well, that sucks. <laughs>